Lynn the Ball Chef and this evening I'm going to show you folks how to make some of the best fried chicken you've ever tasted. It's an uh, easy recipe to put together. I'm going to show you all the steps and if you try this I guarantee you you'll like it. But let me show you how I put this one together. Step to putting together some excellent fried chicken is what I want to do is I want to marinate the chicken and to do this I've cut the whole chicken up and uh, cut the breasts in half and I'm going to put in just a cup of buttermilk and that buttermilk for some reason really marinates this chicken off nicely and makes it very tender so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the ice box preferably overnight but we're going to just put it in there for a couple hours we'll come back and I'll show you the next step alright the next step what we're going to do is we're going to prepare the breading for our fried chicken and I'm kind of a purist Colonel has his 11 herbs and spices. The recipe that I learned is very simple. Just utilizes uh, about a tablespoon and a half of uh, black pepper, uh, a cup and a half of just regular all-purpose flour, and two tablespoons of salt. And what I do to that is I just kick this up with a little bit of planko, about a quarter cup. Gives a nice little crunch to the chicken, and I like what it does. So we just put that in there, and I just take a spoon, I thoroughly mix all the ingredients, and then uh, we can take our chicken, and uh, we can prep that up, come back and we'll do just that. Alright, we've got our chicken uh, marinated up here, um, and what we'll simply do is we'll take a piece of that, and we'll just basically roll it into our uh, flour salt and pepper and planko and just make sure that it's thoroughly uh, coated with the flouring mixture so that it looks something like this and we'll set that on a plate and I'll go ahead and do that with the uh, the rest of the chicken and after I've completed uh, flouring the chicken we'll take it to the next step so I like to use a uh, cast iron skillet when uh, preparing my fried chicken and what we're simply going to do is shake off a little of the extra coating on that have your oil up high and we'll just place these individual pieces of chicken in this hot oil and uh, we're going to let this cook here and then flip it over if we get all this chicken in here, we'll cook it for about uh, 12 minutes or so and we'll flip it over, come back and uh, take a look at uh, where we're going with this. So let me put the rest of this chicken in and we'll take it to the next step. Alright, we're about 12 minutes in and what we're going to do now is going to flip this chicken over. Cook it on the other side. You can see that it's nice and golden brown. And uh, I'll just flip all these pieces over and uh, let them cook on the other side for about another 12 minutes. And we'll come back and we'll take a look at it. And there it is, folks. I've removed the fried chicken from the uh, hot oil drained it out on some paper towels and uh, it looks pretty good here it's golden brown man that buttermilk does a trick to every time very very juicy nice little crunch to it let's go in the ball shelf if you like what you see give it a like you can always uh, subscribe to my channel I'm always looking for new uh, subs. I will sub back. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and bon appetit.